So um, a proof. Um, let's see what we have. So the given is that this angle and a this angle is congruent. Um, they want us to prove that AD is congruent to CB, so that these two legs are congruent. Now, there's no way to just prove directly that those two legs are congruent. So then I have to think, okay, can I first prove that the triangles are congruent and then say that corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent? So if you're given um, two triangles and then they want you to prove that uh, one a pair of corresponding parts are congruent, then if you can't do it directly, if you can't see a way to do it, then you have the other option of first proving the triangle is congruent and then saying that corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So um, that's what we're going to do here. So then we have to think, how do we prove the triangle is congruent? Well, if the two triangles share a side, then that side is automatically congruent because of reflexive property. Okay, so again, my four is L A L L H A and H L. Um, I have now this is going to be a leg, right? A leg of this triangle and a leg of that triangle. So I have leg. That means I'm going to use one of these two. And angle. So then I'm going to use L A theorem again. And then once I prove that those two triangles are congruent by L A theorem. Then I can say AD is congruent to CB because they're um, corresponding parts. And if you have congruent triangles, then all corresponding parts are congruent. Statements, reasons on this side. Uh, so angle A is congruent to angle C. That is my angle. And then given, learn. Uh, the next one, BD is congruent to, okay, um, this one is a little bit, um, the way you say it, now BD, it actually be actually going to be congruent to db. bd is going to be congruent to db. And um, the reason why it's not bd to bd, if you flip these around, then the b in this triangle is actually corresponding to the d in this triangle, okay? So um, you have to say, if you're going to say bd, then you have to say db. And then the reason Again, is reflexive property. Uh, and reflexive property, and then that is your leg. So then my triangles are now congruent. Triangle ABC. Oh no, triangle AB, ABD. Triangle ABD is congruent to triangle corresponding to A is C with B is D and then B again. Okay, so then um, again B and D are corresponding. B of one triangle is congruent to B of the other triangle, D of the other triangle. And then that would be LA theorem. And then Lastly, remember we have to start here as our first step and then we have to end here, right, as our last step. So then our last step is going to be that AD is congruent to CB. Reason for that, CPCTC, okay? So um, again, the four theorems that we're going to use L A, L L H A, and the last one is actually not a theorem. It's a, um, H L is a postulate.
Okay, so again, these theorems and postulate can be used to prove that two right triangles are congruent. You could use the other theorems, um, but that's just going to be more work because then you have to prove an additional angle would be congruent, whereas these, you only have two, okay, th because the angles are already covered because they're right. Um, okay, so LA, LL, HA, and HL postulate, okay? So that's it for this lesson. Uh, we'll see you for the next lesson soon. Thank you.